Hey guys, Brianna Allred, physical therapist and pelvic health specialist. We're gonna talk about your pelvic floor during pregnancy. Now, just as a reminder, our pelvic floor muscles are the muscles that sit in the floor of our pelvis. They're named for exactly their location, which is unusual in the medical field. So we kind of like it when they do that. The pelvic floor muscles, they are a bowl really of muscles in the bottom of the pelvis, and they help to control urine and to control gas and feces. Pregnancy is a whole slew of changes in your body, and the pelvic floor takes a brunt of those. This is often the reason why women who have C-sections also still have pelvic floor dysfunction. You start looking at regaining 35 to sometimes 50 pounds on average for a pregnancy, and we're seeing all of that pressure come down on the pelvic floor muscles. So women often will struggle with urinary control and sometimes some constipation or bowel issues during pregnancy. The pelvic floor can be a big contributor to this. Now, when you're pregnant, oftentimes people will say the downward pressure with coughing, sneezing, laughing, they will notice some leakage of urine during those time frames. This is why it's important to help with strengthening the pelvic floor during pregnancy. So what I would recommend for this is that you do a pelvic floor contraction. A pelvic floor contraction is also known as a Kegel. Now these two names are synonymous. One is just named after the doctor who invented these exercises. His name was Dr. Kegel. So that's where we get the Kegel exercises, or it's a contraction of the pelvic floor muscles. Imagine with the pelvic floor that you would be having a blueberry at the opening of the vagina. And I would like you to grab the blueberry with your vagina muscles and pick it up. That is a basic Kegel. We'd also want you to do some quick contractions and some holding contractions to help with urinary control. The other big important thing is training your muscles to help contract before areas of downward pressure in the body. So before you sneeze, try to pre-contract these muscles. Before you laugh, try to pre-contract these muscles. Before you squat down, try to pre-contract these muscles. That closes the sphincters to help decrease any unwanted leakage.